dudes and girls, back again with some more at home bodyweight buff dude workouts. But this time, we're not using two chairs and a broomstick. We're gonna be using the parallel bars. The greatest thing is, we actually made these right at home. And we're gonna link a video so you know how to also. Three quarter inch steel, just like we're gonna build your body. Solid, cold steel. Isometric holds, plyometrics, and good old plain fashion hard work. So get ready, because we're about to get started. <clears throat> yeah. First on the list is gonna be the hurdle jump. This is a great plyometric exercise. What you wanna do is line up the parallel bars facing you, and they're gonna be about two to three feet apart. You're gonna step up to the first parallel bar, feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna be squatting down to about a 90 degree angle, and you're gonna be exploding your body up and forward over the first parallel bar, landing, absorbing your own body weight, and then immediately exploding upwards right over the next parallel bar and landing. You're gonna turn around and repeat the process. You're gonna be doing five rounds of these. So you're gonna be sweating, and this is just the first exercise. These are gonna work the glutes, quads, hamstrings, and also the calves. Nice full body warm up. It's just getting started. Exercise number two is gonna be the tuck sit. What you wanna do with this exercise is grab those parallel bars and you're gonna be pulling them nice and close to you about shoulder width grip. You're gonna be grabbing the top of the parallel bars, straight arms, your shoulders gonna be down and back and you're gonna pull your legs up, your knees really high and tight to your chest, engaging the core. This is really gonna work on shoulder strength, tricep a little bit in chest and definitely those abdominals too. What you're gonna do is complete three sets, 10 to 20 seconds. If you're just starting out, start a little lighter, about the 10 second range, hold as much as you can and you're gonna slowly work up as you progress through this exercise and program. Exercise number three is gonna be the tuck sit kicks. So what you wanna do is be in the exact same position as you did with the tuck sits, but in this, as the knees pull up to your chest, you're gonna be holding it slightly, but as soon as you get there, you're gonna be kicking your feet straight out in front of you and then pulling them back into your chest while you're keeping that core engaged. And also you're keeping those shoulders nice and tight, arms locked. So what this is doing is actually engaging the core and instead of just an isometric, it's also going through an isometric contraction as well. So it's engaging it a little bit more. It's making the tuck sits harder by actually now engaging the core as you push your feet out in front of you and then pull them back in. And what you wanna do is do three sets of 10 kicks each. And as you progress, you can actually add more kicks into the exercise and make it a little bit harder. Exercise number four is going to be the L sit. Now it's gonna be the same position as you did with the tuck sit and also the tuck sit kicks. But with this, you're actually pushing your legs out in front of you so that way your body is in a perfect L shape and you'll be holding that position. So this is going to be an isometric hold. What you do is you have to keep those shoulders tight, those arms locked, tricep squeeze, chest tight, and you're gonna be pushing your legs straight out in front of you, you're gonna be holding in that position. So it's really gonna be working on that core and you're also your strength in your arms, shoulders, chest, and also back. So it's a great all over body exercise. And what you're gonna be doing is three sets of 10 to 20 seconds. And the longer you hold it, the harder it gets. That's what she said. <laughs> exercise number five is gonna be the tuck plunge or plunge. Well, feel free to argue as much as you want in the comments below how to exactly pronounce it. But right now, what you want to be concerned about is how to perform this exercise. What you want to do is get in the exact same position as a tuck sit. So you're holding in that position, but what you want to do is engage those shoulders, slowly pull your body so that way the chest is going to be facing the floor and you're going to have to hold that position. Three sets, 10 to 20 seconds. So it's really going to work on that shoulder strength, core, and also chest and triceps again, just like all those other exercises like the tuck sit, tuck kicks, L sit, and now we got the tuck planche, or planche. I don't know, let's just plunge into this next exercise. Exercise number six on the list is gonna be the good old fashioned push-ups. So what you wanna do is grab the parallel bars, put them about shoulder width apart. You're gonna grab them with your hands, you're gonna start in the top position, but what you wanna do is leave enough room with the parallel bars so that way your body can fit between them. Because with these, you wanna try to bring your body below parallel to your hands, so that way you get a little extra stretch in the chest, and then you're gonna push up to the top position. This is really gonna work on that chest and also the tries and the front delt. Three sets, 20 reps. Number seven is gonna be the pike push-ups. This exercise is really focusing on those shoulders. 
So what you want to do is grab those pallet bars and pull them about shoulder width apart so that way your head can fit in between them and it's going to be comfortable when you bring your body down. In this exercise, your feet are gonna be elevated. So what you wanna do is either grab a chair, a bench, camping cooler, let's say you go to the park, and wanna do some exercises and take your parallel bars with you, just put your feet up on a tree or anything really you can find to elevate the feet. Yeah, you pretty much get the point. Your feet are gonna be elevated. And what you wanna do is start in a locked out position. Your head is gonna be facing the floor, be bending at the elbows, bringing all the way down between the parallel bars and then pushing through the shoulders all the way to the top position, getting nice contraction and then repeat the process. Three sets, 15 reps. Number eight is gonna be the tuck plunge press. So it's just like a tuck plunge, but now you're adding a press to it. So what you wanna do is bring those parallel bars just about shoulder width apart. And you're gonna get in position like a tuck sit, and then you're just gonna increase the angle so that way the chest is gonna be facing the floor, getting ready to the press. And what you're gonna be doing is your arms are gonna be straight starting off, but you're gonna be bending it at the elbows, bring your body all the way down, and then you're gonna press up to the top position. So what you're doing is you're not only adding an isometric hold to it, but now you're adding in an eccentric and concentric contraction, working the chest, front delts, and also the triceps. Also, you're working the core and the legs too. So this is pretty much all over body exercise, which is great. And we're gonna be doing three sets of 10 reps. Number nine inverted row holds. What you wanna do with this exercise is grab those parallel bars and you're gonna distance them about body length. Your feet are gonna be up on one and you're gonna bring your body underneath the other. So that way you're gonna be grabbing that bar with an underhand grip, pulling it up to the top position so that bar is hitting about sternum level. And you're gonna be holding that position with nice tense biceps, your lats and shoulders are gonna be pulled nice and tight, your core is gonna be engaged. This is considered an isometric hold, so it's really building that strength in that position. You can be holding it for 30 seconds. It's gonna be a tough 30 seconds, and you got two more sets after that. I'm tired just thinking about it. Here it is, the last exercise, exercise number 10. You've been climbing that mountain this whole time, and you're about to reach the peak. So that's why this next exercise is so fitting, because they're called mountain climbers. Get ready to stick that flag in the peak, because you're about done. So this is how you're gonna do it. What you wanna do is grab those parallel bars and you're gonna have them about shoulder width apart. The distance is important because your knees and legs are gonna be fitting between the bars. Just imagine like you're running in place, tucking your knees really high as you're running, just like this. So you're running in place, tucking those knees up. So same kind of position and same kind of motion, but what you're gonna be doing is now getting in the push-up position. So your arms are gonna be in line with your shoulders, you're gonna be straight and locked, and you're gonna be in that same position like you're running in place, and you're really gonna be working that core strength, gonna be engaging it the whole time, and it's gonna be really exhausting. So you're raising that heart rate up, and that's the whole goal. You're gonna get the abs and the heart rate up at the same time for 30 seconds straight, three sets. That stopwatch is getting a pretty good workout, and so are you. All right, buff dudes and girls, that wraps up the at-home bodyweight parallel bar buff dudes workout. What you wanna do is perform this three days a week, allowing one day rest in between each day, so that way your body gets enough rest and recuperation to complete the workout at full strength every time. It's gonna be working on that nice functional strength, getting you in badass shape, and what you wanna do is stay consistent, and as always, stay buff. <clears throat> The cool thing is you're going to be able to take these anywhere. You know, you could take them apart even and put them in the trunk of your car, on the back of your motorcycle, your bike, whatever. Now, you know, it'd be